Stay to the end of this video and we're gonna show you Chicago's best pizza. And not only that, we're having a couple of athletes from the Chicago Bears and one from the Chicago Fire to try some of the pizza as well. Corey, about to be one of the most epic food crawls in Chicago history. The politics of pizza in Chicago always spark fierce arguments, and we're hoping to settle the debate once and for all with the help of Truff. This month, Truff is asking you, who makes the best pizza in Chicago? Truff will be accepting votes on truff.com forward slash Chicago through the month of May. The restaurant with the most votes at the end of the competition will receive $10,000 from Truff plus some serious bragging rights. Today, we'll be visiting five of our favorite pizza spots, including La Briola's, Uno's, Burt's Place, Lou Malnati's, and Pequod's. First up, La Briola Cafe. Let's go. Like seriously, one of the most gorgeous bars. Yeah, no kidding. For like the a downtown pizza spot. We've got VIP access here. We're in the kitchen watching the pizzas get made, and we've got some awesome footage of it. There's nothing like watching a pizza get made in Chicago. This is my heaven. This is my heaven. I love it. The slow-mo just gets me every time. So are you like a fork and a knife guy with the deep dish, or do you just go for it? You know what? I start out the, the, the front of it with yeah. fork and knife. And okay. Then, and then as you go, more manageable than I Yeah, think. I like that. I like See, these place. are the pro techniques that I need. I know. <laughs> Sitting here with the iconic Rich Labriola, the chief doughboy, if you will. <laughs> Rich, thank you so much for joining us for our first pie of the day. What are we rocking with here today? We got the burrata basil deep dish. Mm. Um, fresh burrata, our standard deep dish cheese. Put basil, we put the basil and burrata on after the oven, obviously. We don't want it melting, don't want the basil wilting, and so. It's a beautiful look, a beautiful pizza. We got a masterpiece. Yes, yes we yes. do. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The first time we had this, mm. the, your pizza, the caramelized crust and just the stretchy cheese like instantly became a classic. Like an ESPN instant classic, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, this cheese is so flavorful. I'm having a good time. It's like my tongue was reborn. Like I'm re I'm re-realizing what food tastes like with this sauce too. I started making pizza when I was nine years old. No! Ah. I made lunchables. <laughs> yeah. So I like the style of the cheese at the edge. We did not create, but we perfected it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And then the dough is definitely different than any deep dish you'll find. It so is. It's almost like focaccia dough. It's very light, it's not heavy. Heavy dough is just, it's a sign of weakness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This dough gets a starter, it gets a couple days of fermentation, it gets pressed out very gently and multiple times. This does not go through a dough roller. Yeah. It has to get pressed out by hand, it's that delicate. So. Yeah, and what's the texture on the bottom? It's so different. Cornmeal. Cornmeal. And toasted corn has such a great aroma, it's just incredible. Oh yeah, I use it as a cologne. We, that caramelized crust is what blows all the other deep dishes out of water, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with this spot. Now before everybody roasts me in the comments, yes I'm eating my pizza backwards. <laughs> that's because that's how good their crust is. I'm not even kidding you, it's that good. I think that's four words at Labriola. No. If you eat it that way, that's the right way yeah. to do it. Alright, we're switching to the skinny deep now. It's essentially the same thing, it's just less dough, less ingredients, uh, same awesome. You know, a little more manageable holdy style. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We talk about all the time how we want to eat a lot of slices of pizza. Yeah. This gives you the opportunity to do that. With deep dish, a lot of times you get one, two slices you're done. and you're, you're cashed yeah. out. You're back at the hotel snoring. Yeah, you can mm. have a couple of these slices, enjoy it, and not be as stuffed. It's That's perfect. such a good point. Yeah. I still got to eat backwards. Next up, the artisan style pizza, the cupping pepperonis, the hot honey, some air bubbles, some crunchiness. This looks amazing. Let's go. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. Flavor overload. And so different than the other two. This is great because I've only had deep dish from La Briola. Mm -hmm. I had no idea they were also making the best. Oh my god. This is almost like your standard American style. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to truff it up. Can we have Corey trademark truff it up? Truff it up. Can somebody start the paperwork? Corey's truffing it up. Truff it up, baby. I love our life together. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> All right, last one. All right, a lot of people don't know this, but there's actually two styles of pizza that are born out of Chicago. Not only is there the Chicago deep dish, but there's also the 
Chicago tavern style, which is what we have here. And the iconic jardinera on here as well. Yeah. And spicy, kind of vinegarized peppers. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And this is great if you want something like a little bit lighter than the deep dish. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got a lot more walking around to do in Chicago. Yeah. Go tavern style. I like how you and I are gonna single-handedly go through a small bottle in one meal. <laughs> I'm alright. I consider this diet pizza. I feel like I can eat this and it, in my mind I'm not putting on weight. Pizza light. Pizza light. Alright, well four pizzas up, four pizzas down. We gotta get on the road. We might go run a little bit right now. Yeah. <laughs> on to the next spot. On to the next spot. I'm so done with, done with. I'm so done with, done with. Pizzeria number two, the heart of River North. This is Pizzeria Uno at the corner of Wabash in Ohio. So excited. Yeah, and this place is super special because it's actually the originator of Chicago deep dish pizza. Casually historic landmark <laughs> status. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering how legitimate they are. The OG. <laughs> Baby. Seated at the table at Uno's with a deep dish pizza that looks incredible. Sauce on top for this bad boy. Sauce this on is top. unique, a little bit different than the last place, but it is the OG, so this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna say this, it kind of looks like a savory pie. It, dude, it, pie crust. I think it's, I'm convinced it's pie crust. I think here. it's pie crust. Is this dessert? <laughs> is this dessert? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's pie crust. Their cheese is fantastic. Do you like the sauce on top? I adore the sauce on top. I think it needs to be done right, which they do it right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Because you have an opportunity to have a lot of sauce spillage. Ooh, and that's squared. You don't want any sauce spillage. Uh huh. Now, here's the magic move, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't mind me. Whoa. I just take that cheese and we do the, <laughs> the, 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 the lady in the tramp move. You gotta truff it up. You gotta truff it up. The sauce here, too, is so fresh. A little, little truff move here on the Uno. Oh my god. It just keeps going. It's gonna seem weird, but it really does match with that sauce super well. It does. It goes like A and B together. There's a little tang to it, yeah. And we're in Tang Town. Yeah, dude, we're in Tang Town and, and Truff's the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> this is a five minute walk from Labriola and this pizza is on the other side of the world. Yeah. They are so different. They really are. But still so good. I get that this is the original and it feels like everything else has been kind of an evolution of it. Pizzeria Uno, pretty great stuff, but we're on to more and better things. What's next? Birds. Pizzeria number three, we hopped on I-9094 and we're out in Morton Grove, Illinois at Burt's Place. One of the most legendary spots in Chicago. We're so excited to eat here. Okay, Burt's has this really cool little outdoor patio area. This place makes me want to drink. This is awesome. <laughs> And eat, and eat, and eat. Welcome, look at, look at everything you're seeing here right now. <laughs> Bird's Place opened just for us here today to shoot this, which By is way, insane. Thank you so much. And uh, on camera, give it up. Jerry Petro, owner of Bird's Place. Thank you so much for being here and thank for you. making all these pizzas. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's the owner, Bert, who the iconic, the legendary Bert passed away six years ago. And you've been, you've been yeah. running the show, you've been doing this. What do we have in front of us here today? That's one of Bert's classics there. It's, it's spinach with slices of tomato and fresh garlic. That's where you'll see the char there of the garlic. Mm -hmm. Bert was huge on the balance of the pizza. The ingredients flavored the pizza. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. You, you didn't put ingredients on the pizza. You flavored the pizza with the ingredients. That's how you treat it like <laughs> art. Yeah. That's, That's the art it. of the pizza. Somebody write that down. Yeah. <laughs> he was, um, you know, a, a genius with it. And as I went further along, I got a greater appreciation for yeah. exactly what he what he was talking about. Yeah. I wish you guys could smell it's the insane. garlic that we're talking about. The scent of it alone makes me want to just feast that pizza down on my own. Put your whole face in yeah, there. Yeah, run it into a corner and just <laughs> sit there and slam it like a little rat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I gotta try that. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one with you. Oh my gosh. That garlic yeah. really comes through too. I'm a huge garlic nut. It's yeah. Corey's favorite food. Bert's is like the, the king of, of pizza in Chicago, I feel like. What sets it apart? Bert himself sets it apart. His 50 year journey with pizza. Pequod's, which is, uh, you know, one of the always rated, uh, one of the top yeah. pieces in the country. Mm -hmm. so, uh, We're going there later today. I'm basically here because of Pequod's. I, uh, 
fell in love with Pequots when I was at DePaul when I was uh, going to college. Oh, yeah, yeah right, right in that area. Yeah. yeah. I never understood why this Pequot guy didn't open up more, like who <laughs> yeah. this Pequot guy was. Right. And then when I read about Bert's story and that he founded Pequots, then that's what started my whole idea to try to get in touch with them. Good company to know. Yes. Yeah. This Definitely. is another spot that I eat the pizza backwards because I love <laughs> the crust so much that like caramelized crust is so good. Uh -huh. I'm so glad to finally be Look here. At this. Doing... Oh my God, Corey. <sighs> yeah. Shotgun. <laughs> Thank you. All right, this slice. Look at that. You see that on big camera? Look at that. Mm. Is this too big of a bite to go in on? I, I really don't want to see that. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to see that. The pepperoni is amazing. I want to get like a popcorn container of just these pepperonis and eat them at the movie theater. Yeah, is that acceptable? Yeah. Wow. It truly does everything right. This is what I want out of a deep dish pizza. I want it to do these things. Mm -hmm. They don't all do it. Burt's does. Jerry, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank once you. again, he opened his doors for us. We're hours early. We got the cameras in the shot because we want you to know we're doing this ourselves. <laughs> we have a fun little crew with us today and it's been a blast. So thank you for doing this. Thank you. And uh, thank get you. to Burt's. I mean, it's a destination. It really is. location today, the original Lou Melnati's Pizzeria and Cocktails. This is a great spot for deep dish pizza. You guys are going to love it. I hear they got good pizza, but I'm here to hang out with Chicago Bears players. Guys, look at this. A little bit different than the rest of the video. We're here with Rick Malnati. We're at the Lincolnwood location of Lou Malnati's. Gonna be making some pizzas here today. That's right, guys. And we also have a couple of the Bears players with us. We've got Lamar Jackson and Patrick Scales, and we're gonna figure out who can make the best pizza? I'm gonna say Rick's gonna come in last. Oh. Can I say that? Can I make a bold prediction? Yeah, I'm listening to a guy from Detroit telling me. I'm gonna be last. Come on. What do you guys will get first. a win next year? Okay. No, oh, I'm heartbroken on that one. <laughs> Chicago's a transplant city, okay? All right, Rick, what are okay, we doing here? Well, today? first thing we're doing, guys, is we don't wanna put holes in this pizza. Okay. okay? So okay. we wanna push the pizza kind of with your fingertips to the edges. Oh. Wow, how do you do that this? so fast? Look at it, look at Jackson, are you lefty? Ambidextrous. Oh, you're oh okay, shit. cool. Ambidextrous. Okay, oh, hey, 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 easy on this thing, easy on this. <laughs> but you doing it up already? Yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. No, no, we gotta go even a little. Rick, how am I doing? You're doing much better than your partner. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna pull it up with your fingers and press it against the side without making a hole in the crust. The Malnati way. That's it. We got a lot of stuff we got to fit inside of this, so we need a good base. We need a surgeon over here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking we need a okay. surgeon well, over here. We don't fat sides. Fat sides will make the pizza. You eat with your eyes. We got to have this pizza looking tight. Well, this guy's a one-line machine. I feel like Pat's doing a really good job. I just want to call I it out. I appreciate yeah. that because I'm second guessing it. <laughs> Pat, you're solid. Oh, they must appreciate have had this that. at Utah State. They have a class. Yeah. <laughs> deep dish pizza. Yeah, well, they call it the Harvard of the West. So <laughs> I wouldn't shock me if they did. Now we're going to take a bunch of cheese. Now watch this again. All now right. we're going to interlock these. So we're going to put a lot of cheese on this pizza. Grab a chunk. All right. Spread it out. We don't want it on the sides. Solid. Solid. Boom, cheesed up. You cost the family a couple extra dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think you can cheese. afford it, okay? okay? You're gonna grab sausage, almost like a, a, a tube of toothpaste. I don't do that with my toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a pretty good lie. <laughs> How does he do it so fast? I'll tell I know. You, it's it's practice. Impressive. Yeah. Rips, 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 rips. How many pizzas you made, Rick? Too many. That's really good. Pull it off. Second career. Yeah, I was gonna man. say. I, I just gotta figure it out. There. Hey, you only work like four months out of a year. How about? Hey, hey, <laughs> how come mine looks so bad? That doesn't look bad. It's just that looks. You know, maybe your family will like it. <laughs> Enough tomato to give it good flavor. And now, when you push the tomato to the side, wow. you don't want to get it on the crust because that'll turn the crust pink. I definitely saw the tomato application going differently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys uh, can I just do this? <laughs> you can if you're a rookie. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my god. What do you want from me? This is kind of therapeutic. You see those people that smash those grapes in California with their feet? Yeah. This is kind of like Chicago's way of doing that with tomatoes <laughs> in the hands. Right. There's something about these tomato noises that make me feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> is this what you guys do in the back when people order? Oh, come on, brother. It's all good. You got it. <laughs> Parmesan and oregano. Oh, and look we're at that. That's, there. There it is. Yeah. that's a good Bam. Give me a little bit more. Don't be skimpy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was oh, that's good. good. That's a good little drop from high. I'll tell you what, one pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One pizza, you look like you worked a 12 hour shift. <laughs> yeah. so, so grab your marker. Oh, you put it right in the center? Yeah, I'm gonna put a piece of cheese right on top of mine. 
Okay, so everybody knows their pizza, so we'll check them out. All right, where do you put the winners at? <laughs> <laughs> winners go up in front. We want to show those off. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Which one looks the best? Yeah, pick the pick the best. Pick the best. Thank you. Hey, the, the chair. Where's the clam? <laughs> <laughs> lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Oh. Lift it up. Oh. Lift it up. Oh. Oh. Fumble! Too much. These guys are going to dive much. on it. Our defensive guys are diving on it. All right, we trying it? We're doing I'm, it. I'm watching right here. I want to see what he's got. Lamar's first deep dish. It's a big moment. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Go. Cheers, guys. Let's go. Oh, Cheers. look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Never ending. <laughs> That guy's bearing down. <laughs> so how do you feel about your first deep dish experience? We're good. We're good. <laughs> no, that's great. The thing I've always noticed about Lou's is the, the cheese to me stands out more than any other deep dish spot I've had. Yeah, it's from like, that special Wisconsin. It's, it's truly yeah. like every time I have it, I'm I'm reintroduced to how incredible it is. Right? Yeah, like, it's yeah, truly great. Taste it. The dough's yes. fired too. The dough's amazing. Really and sausage, the sausage. Mm -hmm. Crispy on the bottom. Light, airy, crispy on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like yeah. those adjectives. Yeah. I haven't People stopped like eating the talk. <laughs> it's good. So on our show, we always rate pizzas out of five, and we pick five. an icon. So we'll say out of five well, spatulas. Out of five spatulas. How many spatulas do you give the Lumal Nadi's pizza that you had here today? Lamar, you're first. Out of five. I'll give him five. Yeah, that's there five. we go. <laughs> Pat, what's your score? I'm going to give, uh, I'll go 4.8. Ooh. Ooh. He's a tough oh. critic. Rick Malnati, what do you give the Lou Malnati's pizza yet here today out of five? Well, I think ten. Oh, yeah. 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 On to our next spot. Thank you so much to Lamar, Pat, and Rick for doing this here in Lincolnwood. We'll see you at the next spot. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Get some. Hey. Guys, our fifth and final spot here today. It's been a packed full of pizza day. It's Pequod's, which is actually created by Bert from Bert's, but we're here. That's right, guys, and we're very excited to be teaming up today with the second youngest player to ever sign a MLS contract, Gaga Slonina of the Chicago Fire. He's the goalkeeper for him. He's gonna slam some pizza with us. We're excited to meet him and check it out. Let's go. Gabriel Slow Nina and we are ready to eat some Pequod's pizza. It's gonna be a delicious, delicious treat for us here. Yeah. <laughs> you going with the meat? Yeah. Yeah. Gaga, yeah, you want veggies or meat? <laughs> yeah. I'm all about the meat move. Yeah, this is yeah, pepperoni and cool. sausage, and it's looking fantastic. It's looking oh, very good. Man. All right, Corey. I'm so have you had a uh, Chicago deep dish before? I've had it before, but I think it's probably gonna be the best. Oh, the dude. Best of the, best, best the best of the, of the best. best. Yeah. Sure. So, question for you: Are you an eat the deep dish with your hands, or are you a fork and the knife type hands, of dude? Hands. See, Ooh. I'm a hands dude too. Everywhere else we went today, everyone was doing the fork and knife thing. Ah, no way. All I right. mean, eating pizza with Gaga was on my bucket list, so check it yeah. off. <laughs> All right, boys, cheers. Right, cheers. Let's... Cheers. Mmm. 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 Wow. I got no words. This pizza is known to make people speechless. Everyone yeah. knows it. <laughs> so Chicago Fire, big season. I got to go to the home opener. It's just incredible to like be there and see that. Yeah. How's it been going for you? How's the season? How you feeling? It's been amazing, you know, every time making that drive down into the city and oh, yeah, right. especially on a game day, it's like nothing gets better than that. You're playing for this, this like city is, is an incredible feeling and yeah. the atmosphere every single game. I mean, you were at the home openers. Yeah. I think it's amazing, you know, I love playing. I love being it's on that. It's absolutely, the, the pyrotech, I thought it was at a WWE event. <laughs> 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 Now the best part about Pequod's, I don't know if you know this, the crust, the back end, the caramelized yeah, crust. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so good. Mm -hmm. We might need to get another first your way. Okay. Have you ever had truff hot sauce before? I have not. Are you a hot sauce guy? You got any truff hot sauce? I do on? like hot sauce. Okay. All right, cheers, truff guys. Cheers. Truff cheers. Cheers. <laughs> That's such a good flavor. Right? Yeah, yeah, that is really good. <laughs> yeah, that is fire. That'll help you stop some shit. Uh, oh, you beat me to it. You just said that's fire. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I say that too much to be hanging out around him. It's gonna, it's gonna sound played up all the time. Mm. You wanna try some more? Ooh, right? that's, that's the, so good. You know what's good when he's reaching across the table to grab it. <laughs> do you wanna do a pizza rating? Yeah, let's do it. Out of five. That's how about goalie gloves? How many goalie gloves do you give the sausage and pepperoni Pequod's pe pizza? Gaga. A little bit doughy for my liking. Okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. But I think 
I think I would give it a four. That's, That's a, a damn, damn good, damn good score. score. They're also amazing. <laughs> yeah. We literally didn't try a bad pizza in the, pizza in the bunch today. Not at all. How many this places is, did you guys go to? Dude, we went to five places. Oh, wait. And the first place we went to, they brought out four different pizzas. The second place we went, every place has brought out multiple pizzas. Oh, yeah. No I've had like 15 or 20. I started doing squats yeah. on the way to the next and I, place. <laughs> and I didn't have a, a professional athlete's uh, workout that happened no. before no. this to burn out the calories. I did curls with tens. Or yeah. I woke up and had coffee. Skaga, thanks for doing this. Thank you so much for having me. You guys, five pizza places up, five pizza places down. Epic food crawl, feeling pretty full, but thank you so much for watching today's journey. Truff, you're the best. Yeah, that's right, guys, and don't forget, this is part of the Truff Best Chicago campaign. What we got going on here is if you go to truff.com forward slash Chicago, up until June 2nd, you can vote for your favorite Chicago pizza joint, and Truff is gonna donate $10,000 to the pizza joint that gets the most votes. So support your local pizzeria and go vote while you can. All right, I'm gonna go take a nap for 100 hours. Yeah, Bye. <laughs>